respected Dr. Ravindranath Shambhar, President Human Rights Protection Foundation of Dr. Nirmala Kumari, Principal Dr. Dabalika College of Law, other dignitaries on the days, faculties, law college, and my dear students. I am really happy and thrilled to attend this the college day of the College of Law. When I enter this building, of course, I have seen this building from outside many times because my house is close by, so I used to go by walk. But I have never entered this building. So this is the first time I am coming here. Thanks to the principal for giving me an opportunity. <coughs> my feeling was when I entered, <coughs> took me back to almost 40 years back when I was studying the PUC, it's 11th and 12th. It was in Dr. A. V. Barika Arts and Science College, Kumita. The building was very similar. There was not much difference there. If I look at the kind of halls, kind of the entry, so more or less, you know, the, it's similar kind of you know, the building. So I was really, you know, recollected my memories way back in 40 years. <coughs> It's not something new uh, wherever I go, even in my institutions. The girls are always perform better than boys. I'm not discriminating the boys. There are reasons. They are more serious in studies. And they don't tolerate if they don't perform well. They always try to keep perform at the top level. They are not, you know, the happy with what they have performed. That's how, you know, they are progressing. But the boys are their own ways of, you know, the handling the examinations and other things. That's, that's something different. Again, it takes back me eight years back. <coughs> when my friend's daughter finished her 12th, as he was my friend, so I thought, let me congratulate her for scoring a very high mark, something like, you know, 98% marks. <coughs> so when I went, I thought that, you know, people are very happy with her performance and she must be very happy. Father was very happy and then, you know, he said I was really happy with my boy's daughter's performance. So when I called daughter, daughter came down. But she was little upset. Then I asked, why you are so upset? You know, 98% is not a small thing. Then father told she was upset because she scored 99 in maths. So she missed one. So that is the kind of seriousness you can find in the girls. On the same day, coincidentally, it was true. It is not a story. Same day, my son told me, sir, I want to go for a party. I asked, what, what is that special about the party today? He said, my friend has called for a party. I said, what happened? What is the special? He said, he is going to give a party today because he cleared all the subjects. <laughs> See? The way in which the boys looks into things that, you know, the kind of examinations is different from girls. So, <clears throat> there is no surprise in that. Maybe because of, you know, the kind of nature how they handle the subject. <clears throat> Nevertheless, I could see here, even the boys, a lot of boys also have got, you know, the prizes. Congratulations to you. <clears throat> Now, annual day, or maybe what we call it as college day celebration, is an occasion where to introspect what we have done last year and how we can improve over that. That's how you know the college report comes. 
at the same time, it's a celebration. Celebration without any differences. In the celebration, there is nothing like, you know, the faculties are separate, you know, the students are separate, administrators are all together to come and then celebrate. I have seen even, even in my own institutions, must be here also, during the cultural events, there is, you know, the or the students and faculty together, you know, they dance. So that's a kind of, you know, the celebration uh, in the college team. And also to see what improvement we can do next year. What are the good things that have happened? And also motivate the students, giving them the prizes that they have won. And see that, you know, they can perform better in the coming. That's how you know the annual day goes for most of the institutions. As far as law profession, whether it's law or any professions, one thing is common is that ethical profession, the moral profession. When you take up the profession, you have to follow certain code of conduct. I'm sure. Bar Council of India must have prescribed clearly what are the do's and don'ts. So my humble request is to follow always the moral things, ethical behavior in your professions. That's very, very important, whether it is law, whether it is engineering, whether it is medicine, anything for that. That's how you serve the society. If you look at our founder, I am telling you our founder because your founder, our founder is same. Right? Dr. TMA Pai, late Dr. TMA Pai, all of you know about him. He was a medical doctor and how he has built his empire in education. Most of the things I am sure you must have read, you are aware of it. But few things I would like to tell about our founder. Though I have studied many things, as and when I study more and more about him, more and more things are coming up, new things are coming up. Of late, in 2017, <coughs> Economic Sciences, the Nobel Prize was announced. In Economic Sciences, Nobel Prize was announced when in 2017. This prize, when it was announced, in Mint Maxim, there was a headline. Before Thalar, there was fine. Thalar was, was a US economist, Richard Thalar. He got the Nobel Prize for Economic sciences. So what this headache means, before Kala, there was fire. A very nice article, beautiful article. Kala got the Nobel Prize on studies, the behavior of economics, how the human behaves when it comes to the investment, particularly the small investments. That is what he has studied in detail and he got the Nobel Prize. But if you look back, our founder, Dr. TMA Pai, did the similar work. It is not just theoretical work, he has practiced and he was successful in it. You must have heard the Pygmy Collection, which is happening, you know, even now also in and around this district. It was introduced by when they started the syndicate bank. Initially, it was named as Canada Industrial and Banking Syndicate Limited. Later on, it was renamed as Syndicate Bank, and currently, it's merged with Canada Bank. Kind of work that they have he has done, it's enormous. He was always ahead of its time. 
even the initiation of or the idea which came the starting of the bank it was something you know the new at that time we always say that two heads are better than one what does it mean that means when you discuss with somebody and when you come together that's what even nlp says the collaboration when you do something together it always you know ends up a successful venture this is what has happened way back in 1925 1925 means almost a century ago three people came together a businessman an engineer and a doctor they just wanted to improve the socio economic status of this district imagine at that time it was the, the socio economic condition was very very poor at that time how to improve it if you can support the people basically the income was agriculture and fisheries but the fisheries the problem was they were not able to get the raw materials for weavers how to support them the so way was starting a bank a businessman was upendra anantapai doctor was our founder the tv pai and the engineer was vamandas shri vaman srinivas gupta so they together started a bank and the conceptualized the pigment pigment collection which is the source for the bank so this is all you know the has happened way back almost a century and today if you look at the bank of course it has merged with kendra bank but at one point of time it was it was one of the top 10 banks in the country so basically the founder was keen in improving the health improving education of district people so that you know that social economic condition of this district improves and today you can see udupi and dakshina kannada one of the top you know the districts in the country in terms of education health care and social economic conditions so this is the learning lessons from our founder and i am sure you don't have to look for anybody else here we have the role models we can emulate them in fact today if mahe is one of the top institutions in the country university in the country not only nationally globally it is because it is the legacy of the dr t m pai we are carrying it. because of lack of time i am unable to tell you there are many things which we have initiated which is first time in the country that's how it is progressing and as a law college here of course my interaction was very less till recently when we started a law college in bangalore consciously we are not started a law college in mahi because it's a whole sister concern institution we don't want to compete with it however we have started a law college in bangalore i thank dr nirmala because during the bar council uh, india inspection we have supported a lot for us so that's how we know that we have got the approval from them and we are starting a lot of knowledge in mind so with this i would like to conclude uh, because of lack of time i would have spent a little more time but then because of other coming commitments i will not be able to stay back for longer time thank you very much thank you very much for giving me an opportunity and also wish you all the best for your career Thank you. Thank you. Law profession is considered as one amongst the noble profession, and it, it needs to be practiced with utmost loyalty and with etiquette. Thank you, sir, sir, for such a wonderful message, which will be a guiding light to all of us. And thank you, sir, for sparing time to be with us.
We have with us another eminent personality who is an inspiration to most of us. So we request Dr. Ravindranath Chandogsa to deliver the presidential address.